One morning, Percy was impatient. He was wearing a new coat of paint and longed for everyone to see it. The other engines were still dozing, but not Percy. Percy, not Percy. Driver should be here by now. What's he doing? Sleeping, grunted Gordon. But that, but that means I'll be late. The coaches will be waiting and the passengers will get crossed. Rubbish, huffed Henry. It's still early, still early added James. You just want to show off. No, I don't. Never mind, Percy, said Thomas. It'll soon be time for work. Be careful, or you might run into danger. Duke is not here to save you. D Duke, stuttered Toby. You mean our hero? A large painting of Duke hung in the engine shed. The very same, said Thomas. Driver told me the story. Listen. And, and this is the story Thomas told long ago when people... Thomas told them. Long ago, when Peter Sam was still called Stuart, and Sir Handel Falcon, they worked with Duke, with Duke on his old railway, but Falcon still had a lot to learn. The manager came to see him. Came to see him. Falcon, I'm pleased with your work so far. Now you must learn a difficult part of the line. We call it the mountain road. The mountain road. Falcon was excited. Yes, please, sir. Please, sir. So tomorrow, when you have a new coat of paint, you will go on it. Duke will explain everything. Will explain everything. Huh? Thought Falcon. Duke's an old fuss pie. Listen. Listen, warned Duke. The mountain road is difficult. I'll leave. No, replied Falcon. I'll leave. How can I learn the route with you lumbering ahead and blocking the view? Yourself, said Duke. Never mind the view. Look at the track. Yourself, said Duke. But never mind the view. Look at the track. The engine set off. Look at the track, puffed Duke. Never mind the view. Fuss pot, fuss pot, replied Falcon. Funny that, funny that, funny that. The engine speed grew slower and slower. Don't dawdle, don't dawdle, urged Falcon. No hurry, no hurry, puffed you. Soon, no hurry, no hurry, puffed you. Soon they approached the tunnel. Approached the tunnel. Falcon didn't like the tunnel. It was curved, but he couldn't see. Like the tunnel. Everything seemed safe. But then, but then suddenly... Falcon was derailed and was derailed and hung dangerously over the edge. Duke bravely held on with all his strength. Stop shaking, stop shaking, he called. driver and fireman worked quickly to make the two engines safe again. Came more trouble. Water, cried Duke's fireman. Duke needs water, quickly. Luckily, there was luckily there was a workman's cottage nearby. Soon, everyone was passing jugs, buckets, and filled with water. Until filled with water. Until Duke's earth was quenched. All the while, Duke was building more strength. All the while, Duke's thirst was quenched. All the while, Duke was building more strength. At last, with every all the while, Duke was building more strength. At last, while Duke was building more strength. At last, with everyone's help, last, with everyone's help, he was able, able to pull Falcon back onto the rail. To pull Falcon back onto the rail.
apologize for the accident. Your Duke said the passenger. Your Duke said the passenger is a hero. He stood firm like a bulldog and wouldn't let go. go. Falcon is grateful too. Thank you for saving me, Duke. Why are you bothered after I'd been so rude? Oh well, replied Duke. You just had a new coat of paint. It would have been a pity if you rolled down the mountain and spoiled it. Roll down the mountain and spoil.